What's going on guys? Just wanted to give an update on my rifle. Uh, just got my suppressor. Uh, took 367 days. Pretty crazy. Um, but just dropped 500 rounds through it. And um, just want to have a few key points of discussion here. Uh, one of them being point of impact threw me off. Like it was pretty drastic. Um, I had this zeroed obviously unsuppressed at 100 yards and uh threw the can on there put five rounds down range and i had about inch and a quarter of uh point of, uh impact shift um and i say I, i'd say i'm a fairly decent shooter um it was literally just throwing the can on there i adjusted zero and it was pretty much point of aim point of impact but then when i took the can off uh unsuppressed wise i was slightly above moa uh, with a five round group But uh, I've read that it might be a BCM in enhanced lightweight barrel thing. So let me know if you guys had that uh, experience as well um, Lastly the other key point I want to talk about is I dropped a Geisley super 42 H2 buffer and buffer spring the braided buffer uh, spring in here and this thing runs flawlessly, I mean the recoil impulse feels so much nicer. I'm getting a perfect ejection pattern, whether it's suppressed or unsuppressed. Uh, it just runs now. It, it it ran amazing before, but dropping that Geisley buffer system in there, it is just a night and day difference between my H buffer with the BCM recoil spring compared to a Geisley uh, buffer and buffer spring. It's just flawless. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Um, this thing got hot quick, I will say. Um, it did It did get hot super fast. I mean, I put five rounds through and it was already super hot. Um, but being in Texas outside, that doesn't really help. But, uh, and then, yeah, lastly, the ammo-wise, it was just no nothing special. Um, 62 grain M855. But, yeah, just wanted to give an update. Got my can finally. So, uh, hopefully more videos to come in the future. Uh, maybe some of me shooting and the results, but yeah. Thanks guys.